Good morning. I would like to share the story with you about Sadra Misak Nabendo. It's one of my two favorite stories. We watch it on YouTube after we've done reading Bible for the night. So Sadra Misak Nabendo decided that they are not going to bow down before the king's made statue, the gold statue that the king made. They said they're not going to bow down even if it costs them their life because they can only bow before the one living God. And it's so beautiful as they go into the fire. My kids just love this part. They go into the fire, the three of them, thrown into the fire for not bow bowing down before the statue of the king. And then if, as they go in down, as they go into the fire, God protects them. God is with them in the fire. So you can see how there's three going in and now all of the sudden there's four. God is with you in the fire. God is with you in the storm. You are not alone. Sadrach, Meshach and the baby go stood boldly for God. They stood before God because they knew who God is. They knew who their God is. They knew the living God. And they decided they will rather lay down their life than bow down before an earthly made God. So we need to decide, are we bowing down? I need to decide, am I bowing down before earthly things, shiny things, social media, money, status? Am I bowing down before those things? Am I spending more time with earthly things? Why am I spending more time with God? So sometimes we feel like we're trying to. We're really trying to stand for God. And sometimes you feel you're just not getting it right. And definitely it's firstly through the grace and through the help of the Holy Spirit that you can change, that you can do these things. But it's also your efforts with that. So firstly God and then you also need to have the discipline to to stay in the Word of God and to read the Bible. But for me, I was just feeling a bit, I'm not getting this right. Um, and then God gave me this word in Proverbs. Proverbs 24 verse 16. For the righteous man falls seven times and rises again. So it's not always easy, but it's worth it. You're not alone. You're not alone in the fire. You're not alone in the storm. God is with you. And get up. Rise up again today. Try again today. You're going to get this right. God says that you are the head and not the tail. That there are more for you than that's against you. That every place that the sole of your foot has touched or tread upon, I will give to you. That's the promise of God. You will get the fullness of God. So if you're feeling tired, God is with you. In De De Deuteronomy 1 verse 30, we read, The Lord your God who goes before you will fight for you himself, just as he did for you in Egypt before your very eyes. And in the wilderness where you saw how the Lord your God carried and protected you just as a man carries his son and all along the way which you traveled until you arrive at this place. So God says here that he will fight for you himself. Have a beautiful day.